Folks, what we're looking at here is um, uh, one of the sides of an entertainment center where my movie room is. And um, on the top shelf, I have a small but rather interesting collection of some of my favorite uh, Casio watches. These are extremely rare watches, all in very good to uh, mint condition. And we're just going to start from the top left here and just zoom in, take a look here. Uh, this first one is a uh, mint condition, fully functional um, CFX40. And everything about it is absolutely brand new and never used. Uh, the membrane is in perfect condition. Uh, next to that, uh, we have also an extremely rare uh, European issue only CBA10 financial calculator, also with membrane keyboard. This is uh, extremely rare. And then next to that is we have uh, we have a second CFX40, uh, also absolutely mint, uh, mint membrane keyboard. Everything about it is original and mint. On the second shelf, uh, we have just a uh, not quite as uh, rare uh, a DBC calculator, a database data bank watch from Casio. Uh, then we have another extremely rare item, a Casio CFS80. Uh, this is the absolute thinnest uh, calculator membrane keyboard watch in the world. I believe it's going at about, uh, if I can get this right, I think it's maybe five or six millimeters thick. It's all one piece of resin. The band is physically connected to the case, so it's not replaceable. I guess they had to do these things to get the, uh, the numbers down on the thickness. Uh, next to that, we have a, quite a rare uh, DVC 600G. Uh, very good condition, slight wear on the keyboard, but also a uh, great unit. Everything is uh, in fully functional order. And then here, uh, the last but not least, we have the another CFS80. A little bit with a little wear and tear, that keypad looks like it, it's been through uh, a lot of years of use. Um, but it's also in good condition and, and of course tells time well. Uh, then last but not least, we have a uh, PAG50. See if I can turn it here. Uh, this PAG50 is the um, the triple sensor watch. I guess you have to put it in front of the sun so the battery can charge. It's been out of the sun for a while. Um, it's not the atomic version, so it's the one right before that. Uh, but the thing you might notice is that uh, this watch does not have the original tough solar band. It's actually been fully reconditioned uh, to have the uh, fabric G-Shock band, which is all brand new, and custom uh, created for this watch. So it's a very wide, high quality fabric band. Uh, they're quite expensive actually, 30 to $40 just for the band uh, from Casio Parts. And then that's connected to the uh, PAG50 uh, triple sensor watch. So very nice watch there, and uh, that's my collection. Uh, generally, I look for extremely rare watches. I really don't have uh, very large selections like some other folks uh, on the on the forums uh, but just wanted to share that with you guys so enjoy